hi guys I'm gonna get ready and so I thought I would just bring you along I have my basket of goodies here and I'm just gonna do it to it so I'm gonna go to my mom's today this is my Mary Kay day solution SPF 35 and what I don't even know what time it is but I need to get my butt in gear so anyway I just I like to use this day solution it doesn't leave my skin greasy throughout the day I don't break out and I get the protection I need <laughs> ah! so just that and then my under eye cream this is by it cosmetics the bye bye under eye I got this in a kit not too long ago I have a mirror here and I really like it so today is nice and cloudy but sometimes sunny and I'm wearing jeans today because it's only supposed to be in the mid to high 60s and I'd probably get cold so I put my jeans on but I'm gonna wear sandals today so now I'm gonna, I haven't used this in forever, my poor professional by Benefit. I don't, I bought this big old size of it and it'll last me the rest of my life. I just forget that I have it. And you don't need too much. I just put it on just like right here where my pores are really big. And maybe a little bit on my chin. And maybe a little bit here on my head. Sorry, I have allergies and I'm always rubbing my nose. And I'm going to try to make this quick because my get ready with me videos always take forever. So I'm using my Tarte. I think this is my very favorite foundation ever. And this one's in light sand. This is, like, I think, my second or third tube of it. And this is my Tarte brush. I got this originally in a kit from QVC. So it was a good deal. And then I just take it and go across like that. That's all I need. I love this. It's really nice. And then I just sort of stipple it around and then I... brush it in it's one thing I like about having blonde hair is that my foundation if it gets in my hairline you really can't see it so I'm a big buff queen I like to buff the flip out of my face. All right. Okay. Good deal. So now, um, I'm going to use my It Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and this is in light. Just light. And I just take a little tiny bit and do that and then I do this and then I do this and I have to do them at each eye at the same time or else I'll go nuts that's how I get it even <laughs> and I kind of like to really buff my under eyes too because this will crease a little bit it just creases once usually while I'm getting ready and then so for like my final thing I'll go like this really quick and then it won't crease anymore I hate goobers in the corners of my eye okay all right I know I have a terrible terrible setup here but you 
it is what it is. I'm going to take my um, Maybelline Brow Def Define. My Maybelline Define a Brow, and this is in Dark Blonde. This is my very favorite. And I will go ahead and do one eyebrow because I don't want to bore you with both. But this is how I have to do it. I have to do the shade like this or else the light will get too bright and I won't be able to see what I'm doing. And I just lightly feather this on. And then I'm constantly doing that at the same time. This is a lot different than putting it on in my bathroom, I'll tell you that. The lighting is way different. But I kind of have thick or hairy brows, so I kind of, I'm glad for that. So I just sort of fill in where I'm sparse, which is mostly right here. All right. So I'm gonna do the other brow and I'll be right back. Okay. So then I just sort of brush the eyeliner or the brow I brush it out to kind of make it look better natural. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Shimmer Eye Primer type of thing. I think it's like Cream Shadow, but I use it as a primer. I love this, I use it every day. It's as good if not better than the Urban Decay, whatever, and I just do that. And I don't, I, I got, this was sent to me, I don't, it's from the Dollar Tree, but I don't think they sell it anymore. I haven't seen it since last year. And I just do that, just a tiny bit. Um, I don't know what color this is. I don't, there was only one color that they sold and this was it. It's kind of like a champagne color, more on the pink side. And I just love this. It helps my eyeshadow have more depth and it has a richer color and it doesn't crease. So I love this. And I have another one. I had two of my friends send me one. And so I have another one. And this will last forever. Now, um, I'm going to just use, this is my Wet n Wild palette. I'm just going to use this top part. This one is Walking on Eggshells. And I'm just going to do my brow bone. And I just take my finger all the time. This is how I do it. When I do my highlight on my brow bone, I always use my finger. I just do. I'll just do. Fingers are good. So there's that. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I knew I'd forget something. I'll be right back. Okay, forgot my my crease brush. Um, so now I'm going to use this Mary Kay palette that I have. I used to sell Mary Kay, so um I got this here magnetic palette. This was like a display type of palette. The normal, a regular customer wouldn't be able to buy this, only the consultant. So this was just like to display um, samples and stuff. So anywho, I'm going to use this color called Rose Gold. And I don't know why it's called Rose Gold because it's kind of golden bronze. I don't see the rosiness in it at all. I don't. So I'm just going to use a spongy tip thing. I always use these when I put my eyeshadow on my eyelid. It just has, it delivers more color. You get more payoff and 
less fallout and stuff. So I'm just going to put it on my eyelids. See, there is no rosy rose gold to this. It's all just bronzy gold. I haven't used this in a long time. I forget that I have it all the time. I think I got this, I think, last summer, and I've only used it maybe three or four times because I just use other things. I guess maybe I can see a tiny hint of the rose gold, but not a lot. Now I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm just going to use the same color and I just barely tap it in. And then I just sort of put it in my crease. Just really lightly. I don't I don't do a heavy crease. I don't know, I just find the older I get, <laughs> the lighter my makeup is. Like, the colors are lighter. I use less. Less is more, right? I'm sorry, I'm just, I should put my mirror, maybe I should put my mirror over here. That way I'm looking more toward you. How's that? That's better. kind of have a little bit of a hood and so I'm constantly I have to make sure that I get it just right on both eyes okay that's all I do that's all I use so now I'm going to take my favorite eyeliner of ever of all time they don't sell it anymore it's a Mary Kay Tahitian gold oh my god I love this color. It's the best. The best. And I actually have two more. I bought this years ago and it's still really good. But I have two backups. Yeah, I guess now that I'm closer up, I can see the rose gold in it, in the eyeshadow, but, so this probably isn't the greatest eye color, eye pencil to use, the, the color's not the greatest for this rose gold shadow, but I don't care. Okay. So I just slap it on. But this pencil never dries out or anything. I've had it for years. If you've sold Mary Kay for a number of years and you remember this, you'll know how old it is. I wish they'd bring it back. It's amazing. And you don't have to blend it with a blender or anything. It just looks good. All right, yeah, I shouldn't have used this color because I thought the rose gold shadow was a little more bronze. It looks more bronze in the bathroom. Everything looks different in the bathroom. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I Usually I have a hand mirror, I forgot it. I'm getting all sorts of stuff all over the place in my face. This is my Shuamora eyelash curler. I've had it forever and I like it a lot. I have to curl my lashes or else they just fall flat. So now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. This isn't waterproof. I love waterproof mascara. And 
and I have sparse lashes so I really have to put a whole bunch on and I can't talk and put mascara on at the same time okay so there's the first coat I'll be right back. Okay, I know you wanted to see me do the other eye, so here it goes. I used the eyelash curler already. I'll put another coat on in just a little bit. I like to let this dry first. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there it is. It takes me longer to do the lower lashes, for heaven's sakes. I don't put too much on the lower, so I'm gonna let that dry. Um, I totally forgot to use any concealer. My skin hasn't been too bad lately. This is Derma Blend. This is in Biscuit, and I got this at Ulta maybe a year ago. I don't know if they still sell the Derma Blend anymore, but I just like to tap it on. little spots here and there. I have like acne scarring. Just a little discoloration from sun and stuff like that. This stuff goes a long way too. You just need a little bit. <sighs> Sorry. And then I have discoloration right here, really bad from the sun. So, and it's like right in the pit where I have a wrinkle. And so I always look like I have a scowl on my face. And it's all because of that mark. So I like to just put a little concealer on it. That's all I'm gonna use. Well, maybe. Sometimes I'll forget to do my chin. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this L'Oreal True Match blush. This one is in Baby Blossom. This is the lightest one they have, I think. I just like to use it as a little base for my normal blush so that it blends better. I don't know. So, this is how I do it. Okay, so there's that. And then, here I have some blushes. Um, I'm probably going to use that one. It's called Strawberry, I think. I'll let you know. I'm going to put everything in the description box. So I'm just going to... Put it on the apples. Here's that. I'm so sorry about... rubbing my nose I can't help it so now I'm gonna go back and do my eyelashes one more time and I always curl them even when I have mascara on because it helps hold the curl better for me so but if you do that you have to be very careful that you don't pull out your lashes because the mascara sticks to the curler So 
I kind of just blink it off and let it let the lashes fall off. So there's the difference between two coats and one coat. I have to clean this room one day. Look at my desk, it's a mess. And then I just, if the lashes are stuck, I just let them come off. I don't pull or tug. So there is that. <laughs> okay, a little chapstick. This is my favorite lip gloss. This is called Strawberry by Revlon. They don't make this color anymore. This is old packaging. <laughs> I love this color. I wish they'd bring it back. It's so pretty, especially for summer and spring. And it stays on pretty well. So, yeah, I love it. And now I'm going to take my Anastasia Anastasia Brow Gel. And just brush my brows. Maybe just brush it on a little bit. Alright. That's it, you guys. That is my face of the day. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be sure to um, put all of the products that I used in the link below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. There it is. Okay. <laughs>